Let's turn now to your first alert weather. Chopper 11 was actually over the Trinity River just a few hours ago. You can see how full it has been over the flood. After the flooding, we actually heard uh, Scott about uh, the sweet little boy who was catching fish on the side and yeah. putting them back in the river because he didn't want them to die. So listen, what are we expecting in terms of our water levels going back down to where they should be? Yeah, they're going to slowly recede, and they have been doing so. However, a lot of the rain that fell across parts of North Texas has to go in some of the rivers and the Trinity River Dallas. What's new is it's now in a moderate flood stage it was a minor flood. Now moderate flood stage about to make it into major, which happens at 40 feet right now. It's at 38.06. So you can see that that moderate flood stage happens at 38 feet. The new crest, this new information coming in is expected to be right around midnight at 39 and a half feet, just under major flood stage. But then by tomorrow evening, dropping back down below flood stage as that water continues to work its way down downstream. So we saw that Trinity River really fill up. Now tomorrow rain chances are at 40% for all of North Texas, dropping to 20% by Thursday and Friday. So some scattered showers and storms are possible. We said so much rain over a 24 hour period, 9.19 inches officially at DFW. That is a 24 hour rainfall total. Uh, the second wettest August on record at 10.08 inches. Uh, so for the year now we're sitting at 22.49. We're down by 1.28. Remember just last week we were talking about just a few days ago, we were talking about how we were down by more than 10 inches of rain at DFW. Some spots in parts of the Metroplex on the east sides of Dallas County picking up more than 11 to near 15 inches of rain over that 24 hour period. So, this is what we saw with all those storms moving through. Now, the radar in the most sensitive mode looking for any rain. There is some drizzle that's out there. So, I do expect to see the chance of some isolated showers and storms popping up as we go into here we are midday for tomorrow. Uh, they will quickly make their way on through from the northeast down to the southwest as this area. Of low pressure continues to develop. So, what that means for you is it's going to be muggy for tomorrow. Temperatures slightly warmer than what we saw today, and you might see some showers and storms pop up, but nothing like how we started out the day today. Same story then going into Wednesday, those rain chances tapering down. We did make it up to 80 degrees late in the day when we saw some peaks of sunshine. We're now down to 76 degrees, that northerly wind holding on. Overnight tonight, temperatures in the mid 70s across parts of the Metroplex and across a lot of North Texas. They're going to hold relatively steady, maybe drop down a couple. Couple more degrees, but also maybe some patchy fog developing for us because of the ground having so much moisture in it. That's going to be the potential the next few mornings. So, parents, as you plan for tomorrow for the kids, 85 after school, we'll see 88 on Wednesday. Rain chances 30%. There is a chance of showers and storms every single day, not like what we saw today. High temperatures staying below average. We'll be right back.